Well, Katie is asking a good question that's a good place to start. How do Susanna realize her bisexuality and eventually can't come out? Um, oh my lord. Um, so I grew up in a Catholic family. I'm I have my crucifix on today, given to me at my baptism, you know, just in recognition. Um <laughs> and um I I yeah, I grew up in a Catholic family. My parents converted to Catholicism, so I feel like they had a greater conviction than um, other Catholic families I knew where it was just kind of like a cultural familial tradition. Um, and um, homosexuality was very discouraged, very discouraged, not always um, very explicitly, although I do have very explicit memories of it being discouraged, explicitly discouraged. Um, and when I share that with my parents now, they're like, what? That never happened. And I'm like, I remember it exactly. Um, I grew up in a very, um, conservative household, not fundamentalist, um, conservative, um, extremely sex negative. And, um, there was nothing that was as, um, it, there were few things in my familial unit that were more taboo than sex, sexuality. Um, I, I think I liked girls from a very early age. Um, developmental psychologists um, understand that our ideas of our own gender and ideas of our own sexuality are solidified very early on in life. Um, I can't remember the age for sexuality or sexual attraction. I do know that your your gender identity is solidified around the age of two or three. Um, and in terms of sexual attraction, it's probably, don't quote me on this, but around the ages four or five, maybe pushing into seven. Um, I... Um, went to Catholic schools, the vast majority of my education. Um, and starting at the age of 12, I went to an all girls Catholic school. So I wasn't around any boys <laughs> besides my own little brother um, for four years of my education through middle school. Oh, okay, we just got a super chat from Bashir five us dollars thank you he's saying love you guys we love you um so i didn't have access to boys from the age of 12 to 13 to 14 to 15 um and i think that was good for me in a lot of ways which i can get into possibly um but it also um, discouraged like any sort of like exploration or curiosity about the opposite sex because it just like wasn't in my environment. Um, and I'm giving a very long answer. I realized <laughs> that I was bisexual when I convinced my best friend to get a really short like pixie style haircut so she almost looked like a boy and I was obsessed with it I was obsessed with it I couldn't get enough of how she looked with that haircut and <laughs> um then I um eventually realized that the feelings I had for my best friend were like way more than my feelings towards a best friend I was like oh wait no I'm like in love with you <laughs> and um she was my first kiss actually um eight. what age 15 yeah uh. yeah and um then that really scared me when I realized, Why? when I realized how D 
deeply I felt about her. It scared me. Why did it scare you? Because I'm not supposed to want that. I'm not supposed to like it. I'm not supposed to feel that strongly. And so I self-sabotaged that relationship. Oh, wait, did you just see your, your first kiss was inside a Catholic school? No. <laughs> With another student who was my best friend from that school. Right. But not not inside the Catholic school. No. Um, for your fantasy, unfortunately, no. <laughs> no, it would be ironic that the school that is trying yeah. to, um, you know, it would like a be, a be, it would be a big f you to the school who's trying to oppress your feelings. That's what I was. Oh, but yeah. there was lesbianism all up and down that school. Are you kidding me? Like there were, mm. I definitely saw girls making out on campus. Like. <laughs> Yeah, right. classic, like all, yeah, uniforms, knee highs. That was my life for the majority of my education. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's how I realized I was bi. I was um, around 15. And then um, how I came out to my parents, well, I had like a Tumblr blog that I kept secret from everyone for a very long time. And on that blog, I would mainly um post about my the fan fiction that I was into at the time. Oh, thank you, Fatima. Um <laughs> and all the fan fiction I was into was like slash fiction. Like for, for all the nerds out there, you know exactly what I'm saying. But basically taking two characters, usually same sex characters, and making a different non-canonical love story for them. Um interestingly enough, my favorite ones were always gay male stories. And I think I found that easier to digest because it was a little bit othered than female stories um anyways so and i would also write about my own sexuality on that blog and um discovering more about myself and um part of growing up in my very conservative household was a lot of information control Uh, my parents would tightly 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 control what media we consumed um which is why other conversations about controlling the media of what your children um, intake is a complicated subject for me. Cause I think in many ways, the level to which it was in my life was a disservice to me. Um, so they found this blog and it was not good. And so that happened like when I was probably around the age of 15 and they confronted me about everything that I had written about, everything that I'd shared, everything that I was demonstrating interest in on the secret blog. And um, I got in really big trouble for it. Really, I've, and this happened continuously because I- Wait, how bad, how bad was the blog? I mean, like not bad. It was just like, I mean, by Catholic standards, it was bad. Okay. You know, like being curious Mm -hmm. about sex being curious about sexuality right that information was not there was no that education was not allowed to me through any other means Mm. so what am i going to do i'm going to go look for it any way i can right and this is how i developed a um almost a construction of a dual identity i very deliberately compartmentalized parts of myself very deeply um public and familial parts of myself um to avoid punishment and i learned from a very early age that um honesty comes with punishment um because being honest about what i was curious about um came with consequences um so they found this blog and so i was like i openly talked about how i was bisexual like many times throughout this blog i thought that they like knew what was up i didn't formally come out until i was my senior year of high school and in my senior year of high school this is a crazy story (laughs) um i laugh when i'm uncomfortable because it's not funny um so i was visiting colleges with my mom and so i was in a different city than where i grew up and i was having dinner at a hotel with my mom and my mom confronted me about a friendship I had with a younger girl in my class. I'm going to refer to this person as a girl. This person has since transitioned to being a man, but 
it's relevant to the story that this person was a girl to me at that time, right? No disrespect. Um, but that's important to how this works. Um, oh, Mar Mortard Skeptic is saying, how did they find it? They would monitor the IP addresses of my household. Um, yeah, they would monitor our IP internet history. They would block specific sites um, as uh, consequences and punishment, restricting the information. Um, so um, my mom confronted me about this friendship I had with someone who was two years my senior. Um, I won't say this person's name. And she was concerned that I was going to have um, what she believed to be a corrupting influence on this person because I had a friendship with a girl who was one year my senior in high school who she thought was having a corrupting influence on me because this person would introduce me to information and education about sex. Um, and that's a whole different story that had big consequences, but we can get into that later. <laughs> um, so she was saying like i'm I, I have concerns about this friendship you're having with this person who's like two years your junior um and i was like i would never do that to this person or be corrupting be toxic like what do you what do you mean and um again this is how i remember things it could be different and um she's like why like what do you mean and i'm like well this person is my girlfriend like yeah like this is that's my girlfriend like i'm not gonna hurt her i'm not gonna do that to her and um my mom was like what <laughs> i'm like yeah that's that's my girlfriend like she made it publicly known that she had a crush on me like first or i heard through the grapevine I heard through the grapevine and I was like, well, this is, this person is beautiful, stunning. When we would go out together to get tea or whatever, people would go try to recruit her as a model just on the street, like in high school, <laughs> stunning. Um, I was like, yeah, like that's my girlfriend. And um, my mom was like, what? Blah, blah, blah. She acted like it was totally out of pocket or like, hadn't cry like it didn't make sense to her and i was like internally i was like you guys found that blog of mine where i talk about this in explicit terms like four years ago four years ago <laughs> um and so it didn't make sense and it, <laughs> people who come from catholic families know the depths of catholic denial um and that was one of those situations like um and that's a running theme a running theme is like this this icy this icy silence this icy silence of like we're not going to we're not going to acknowledge amongst us what we all know to be true because like that's taboo that's not okay and if we actually acknowledge it that makes it real so we're just kind of gonna be in denial about it again this is how i've come to understand things i'm sure other people in my family would feel very differently um and that's okay um so i came out to my mom then and she got upset and this is around the same time that it was before this is in 2014 so it was before there was federal um marriage equality and or 2013 2014 and um, the uh, same-sex marriage was either just about to be legalized on the statewide level where I grew up or had just been legalized on the statewide level of where I grew up. So, so we had same-sex marriage before the whole country did. Um, and then so I came out and then my mom turned this into a discussion of why do you, why do you guys have to take marriage from us? Wait, Aaron, unmute yourself. I want to hear your reactions. Um, 
Now go ahead. And wait, what? How did how did that come into the discussion? Like you were considering it because it was relevant politically in the the immediate climate of what was going mm. on. That was the big LGBT okay. thing going on. But but did you like at that time consider like oh, getting married whoa. to a girl? Is that what? Huh? <laughs> okay. like, I'm like seventeen. <laughs> right but because because you were that was on that was on your mind like that because you consider yourself part of the lgbt community so it became relevant to your like it was something important to you because mm -hmm. you were part of it yeah oh okay. actually i well I, I didn't even bring it into the conversation my mom did what she said immediately mm -hmm. was right. did you think about what this will do to our family 